how to make this bass. The bass is called Krulev bass, as you can see right here, and you can actually find this bass in my new preset pack called uh, Rukus. Rukus um, is the new tear out preset pack that I just made. Put the level of oscillator B all the way down, and then same thing for this oscillator A. LFO1 onto this level, and you want to put it all the way up. Then LFO1 is going to look like this, E and V, 1 over 4. Uh, next thing we're going to do is put this LFO1 onto this uh, shape here, CRS, not shape, but CRS right here, and then it's going to go all the way uh, up basically, um, to minus 63. Uh, same thing here, so here it's going to be on minus um, 18. And sync no window on this one sync no window and that's going to be on 2.27 lfo1 onto this sync no window and that's going to be on 48 fm from b is 40 percent you're going to put this lfo1 onto this shit and it's 10 sub activate it minus three level all the way down lfo1 onto the level and all the way up noise is going to be direct out and then level all the way down, LFO1 onto the level all the way up, and then key track right here. So just press this once. Um, we also got a filter, so the filter is just a low 24. So the cutoff is on 50 hertz, LFO1 onto the cutoff 100, Rezo is 4%, and then 22 um, on the LFO1 on this Rezo. Next thing is this LFO2. You want to shape it practically the same as LFO1 but it just kind of goes a little bit lower as you can see it's like mid kind of here. Um, shape it like this ENV 1 over 4. You're going to go to the matrix and you want to select LFO2 right here. Then you're going to go to master tune so just global master tune and you're going to basically click this so it goes one way that the arrow goes right. And then this shit is going to be on 29. And that's basically all you want to do here. There is also this effect, but I'm going to get to that in a second. And the effect is what changes the sound. So it's a bit of a strange bass that I designed because the effect really makes a difference. But I'm going to get to that in a second. Hyper dimension, activate it. 25%. It's 21 63 and that's it then the distortion dial 2 off drive is just 25 chorus 61% 810 all the way down all the way to 26 all the way down 5.0 then delay you want to put the feedback onto 45 and then this LFO1 onto the feedback, 14. Link, 1 over 64, normal. And then 7870, 2.7 here. And this is just 50%. Compressor is multiband. Here it's 56, 116, 102. All the way down on the attack, release is 8.1. Reverb is basically 16, decay is 4.7. EQ, 45, 60, 1155, and then LFO1 onto the frequency, and that's 67. Q is on 52, LFO1 onto the Q, 13. Filter, reverb, Cutoff is 96, LFO1 onto the cutoff, and that's 5. Rezo is 79, LFO1 onto the Rezo, minus 16. Drive is 12, LFO1 onto the drive, and that's 22. And now the, LF, the macro, not the LFO. So the macro basically is on FM from B, and that's 7%. Then um, another thing that the macro is on is the filter, practically just the filter and that's on minus 4. 
so just drag it over to the cutoff of the filter and that's minus four um, and that is it there is nothing else the filter is on just these two things it makes a small difference post processing is basically reverb and OTT to make the sound stronger so the depth is 37% outgain is 0.5 dB and uh, there's like this little pattern but you don't have to make it very accurate that's just how I made it I made sure the highs are like more present and the sub and this EQ is actually an automation because there's some automation going on so I'm just gonna explain that pitch bend first of all there is a pitch bend automation and there is a little EQ automation which basically I'm I just use the EQ to take out the low end in certain parts certain sections of the song and I don't I actually don't think it's actually uh, doing anything now I think it was doing something before yeah I used this before basically to like take out a little section of the low end just in the beginning of the song just to create that little effect like that but I think I later changed my mind so you can add this EQ if you want to use that effect the pitch bend that little effect here it's really fucking dope so what it is is uh, plus 24 and minus 24 in serum on the pitch bend right here and then you just click this it creates this line just a straight line and you just add up a little automation you add your little dots and then you can add a little swerve down like that um, basically during the end of like the the pattern you know at the end of the first drop you can add that and then it has that growl thing so that's a cool little effect if you want to use that and that is it bros boys and girls and other uh, genders that's everything I got to say about that thank you for watching and see you next time